Hey everybody, it is me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Shitty Towers. I mean, lovely Kitty Powers. That wasn't anything mean against Kitty Powers. I like this game. It's been a little bit since I played it, unfortunately, because life's been full of other things. Look at our awesome, super dangerous love pool we have up there. Oh, and we got mail from Sierra Inglehouse. I forgot their voice. Fucker! Nobody succeeds! Dear Super Paul, I had to finish with Brody because I just wasn't keen on him. There's some things I liked about Brody, mainly his interest in playing the Theremin. Um, but I just couldn't stand his bizarre compulsion for five-a-side football. Yeah, I know, it should be 11. I told uh, a couple of lies to impress him, but I shouldn't have bothered. I'm not sure, but I think Brody was actually stalking me for a few weeks. Uh, that hurts our reputation. Whatever. All right, an Aurora Moorbush. Oh, they got married! Dear Super Paul, Marion and I are still together, and we got married! We both really enjoy death metal music. We're so compatible that I can easily live with his obsession with teeny tiny bikinis. Don't look at any tits but mine, huh? And the best thing is, I was completely honest with him. We're so happy with the way it's worked out. We'll name our first kitty, our child Kitty, even if it's a boy. That poor kid's gonna get the shit kicked out of him. Lots of love, Aurora and Marion. Poindexter, you did it! Yeah, I'm gonna get laid. Well done, son. At least we got one couple to work out. Love analyst, hillbilly me. Let's go see who's next in the store. Glam types love the bling bling. I'm not gonna remember any of how to play the game. <laughs> hmm. Ding ding. Alright, we got ponytail man. I used to have a ponytail like that. Schnazola, and you look like a friend of mine. Let me touch your lips with my wiener. I mean, hey, come to my office. Hi, I'm Julie, and I'm a mechanic, and I'm looking for a woman. All right. I'm saying that because I don't do women voices well. I'm like, two women's voices? Good day to you. My name is Julie. Yeah, Julie, I kind of heard that back in the other part. All right, you're a mechanic. Uh, you're telling me about me. One is a mechanic and looking for a woman. What? You're a mechanic. <laughs> One's interests include fake tan protein shakes like my wiener juice. Ha ha ha. That's come if you were. This is dirty. And countryside walks. She's like, I don't like boys. Whatever. Oh shit, I was just trying to poke you. That's the sporty type if I've ever seen one. Shit, I quit listening halfway through what she was talking about. Uh, she is... Stuff? Oh, uh, we don't know about your personality. If we have enough coins, we can reveal information about... Oh, how long has that been up there? I never paid attention. Um... Yeah. Climbing trees, petting rabbits, raving. You're like... <laughs> I'm gonna hug them and love them and name them George. And then I'm gonna rave all night long. Uh, you guys have nothing in common here. Next... Destiny Nibble One. Ooh, they both like countryside walks. I like that. She's kind of hot. I do her. She's not into me, though. I think she likes, um, women. It should have been an um. Aliens? I was fighting aliens earlier tonight when I was playing on Twitch when I was streaming. You like people with brown hair? She's got brown hair. She's like, I like the brown pubes in my teeth. You're nasty, girl. Tell me more. Um,. Your costume designer? You're really hard to please. Fucking good enough. Date! Julie and Destiny. Lorraine, you're my density. I mean, Destiny. Did you see her roll her eyes at me when I said that? Fucking bitch. I mean, I'm glad to hook you up with my client. We're gonna go to the French restaurant. Ooh la la. I mean, the great British restaurant. I'm really good at that game. Um, day. I ain't wasting money on you, girl. I got eight coins. Are you kidding me? Uh, methodical personalities like punctuality and everything in his place. Hey, that must be me. I am really that way. One wonders what they might be wearing. I assume clothes. Settle down. Good evening. Would you happen to be Destiny? <laughs> yes, I am. You must be Julie. Julie Keens, me... Butts! <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. I don't normally eat at places like this. This is a shithole. I normally eat at better places like McFlufferton's. Oh man, this date's gonna go great. 
Well, I happen to think it's exceptionally good, so how about you pipe the fuck down before I put my foot through your giant lady vagina? Oh, why do you like your dark hair? You are a weird one. I say, you're such a flatterer. Sometimes I'm a farter too. Fart you. Give me that. Fix that mistake up there. Ooh. Nothing gets past you, does it, Super Paul? You're right, Titty Towers. Thank you for fixing that X. And good evening, Nana. May I uh, take your order? Where will you take it? Just give it, tell me what you want to eat, you dumb dickhead. That's not nice. Yes, please. If you wouldn't mind, what wouldn't one like? I would like you to quit talking in the one. Who are you, fucking queen? I'd like to eat something high with no meat. Oh, that is like me. I got no wiener, son. Girl, son, friend, man. I'm a vegetarian, so I'm better than you, and I never eat the meat. She sure likes meat, but she don't like the bone. It's the other way. What? I'm also trying to avoid wheat. Oh my god, what do you want? Uh, prawn, no, pork. Everything in Great Britain is made with... What are you looking at? He's like, I can't even here. Get on it like a carb on it. All right, cauliflower and cheese. People in Great Britain love that. Europeans love bland food in the West. You made a very generous statement. I'm right. Quit judging me, game. Two platters of cauliflower and cheese, if you'd be so kind. Mm, hey, what a that. wonderful choice. Can't wait to get it for you. Mm. Something else smells like cheese here. <laughs> Sounds delicious. How about we pour cheese on our vaginas and lick it up? That's how I got a yeast infection once. Oh. Mm. What? It does sound nice, doesn't it? I... Wow. I feel embarrassed by this entire episode. I don't even know if I'm going to upload it. Alright, we're going to talk about shit. Hairstyle. She likes our hair. Mm. Tell me, do you like my hairstyle? I love the purple hair with the, uh... What is it? The pigtails that are braided? That's super hot. Eh, that's alright. <laughs> yeah, it looks quite nice. Yeah, I want to touch all your hair. When you sleep, I'm going to vacuum it up and touch it. <laughs> Thank you. I had it done especially. Wear it, Supercuts. Oh, man! I'm catty and bitchy. What do you think of my hair? Girl, it is hot. We call these fuck handles where I'm from. And where I'm from is in my basement. And I say that and people run away screaming. Oh. How do you not like it, you dumb? It is so cute and sexy. You're going to say you love it. And if you don't... I'm going to take that sword and stab you in your girl parts. Ooh. Oh my god. Um. Um. Fuck it. We have no way to cheat either. We're screwed. Oh, damn it. Ooh. Yeah, they're not convinced by the lie. We can't cheat. <laughs> it's absolutely, like, uh, delightful. Ugh. They're not very good at lying. You have hurt my feelings. I feel them up. Oh, what a Pavel... Pavel... I don't understand your English words here, Kitty Powers. Just because we're in a British restaurant. I assume all British restaurants have that. Um, yeah. Hmm. Uh, dinner is served, you delicious cunts. It's all right, I'm in England. I can say that. I don't think that's appropriate. All right, so far this date is not going very well. Let's talk about spiciness. Hopefully she is like mm. us, not spicy. Would you rather read mm. a romantic novel mm. or a racing novel with the dicks in the lady holes? Mm. Oh, good question, probably. I think she's going to like the racy mm. one. A romantic novel. Oh, they have something in common. Could this actually work? Mm. Mm. So how about you? Mm. Yeah, why a romantic novel, of course. Maybe we could cuddle and read together. I can barely read. Mm. Oh, yeah, aren't, aren't we a romantic? A couple of old romantics. Are you calling me old? Because I like it. Mm. I can cur. Mm. Excuse me, I gotta go to the restroom and poop real hard. Mm. All right. Mm. Yes, of course, we all poop real hard at times. This cheese is blocking me up. <laughs> all right, go to the restaurant. She's gonna come back changed. Don't change your hair because your hair was amazing. God! Mm. Damn it! What is your name? I never paid attention. Her hair was super hot. And now she changed it to try and fit in. Here I am. Mm. 
Is it better? Is is one better now? Yeah, I dumped all over the place. <laughs> I just want to adjust my look too. What do you think? <laughs> uh, the spot the difference is she changed her hairstyle. Oh, uh, that old one! The pigtails was so damn cute! <laughs> you look even more alluring than you did previously. It is good of you to change yourself for my whims. No, lady, no! Let her be herself! <laughs> I like the compliments and I'm very desperate! Thank you! Later, even later that evening! Oh, <laughs> uh, we can talk about facial decor, um, social, or horomoscope. I have to do facial decor. They're not wearing beards. Shouldn't they like it? So what does one think of my natural makeup? Oh, shit! I just thought they'd be like, I don't have a beard and I'm happy because I'm lesbian. I don't like beards. I like natural makeup, too. So and by that, I mean no makeup. It's okay, I guess. Oh, man. Was that a compliment? I don't know. You were mean to her about her hair. You like my clear complexion, then? Oh, quit bragging about your wonderful hair face. Whatever. Your wonderful face that is so touchable, so bumpable. Ooh. Just say you like it. Ooh. Yeah, it's rather lovely. Ooh. Yeah, it is nice of you to say thanks. Ooh. Can you ring me a taxi? I think my phone has died. Uh-oh. Of course. Oh, wait. Of course, waiter. Would you happen to have the number of a taxi company? I don't know that this date's going particularly well. <laughs> eh. Yes, I do. Are you ready? Because I'm not seeing it more than once. The number is 556-235. Five, five, Wait, you only use three numbers in England? That's weird. Oh, I got a dialer. All right, 756-235. Yeah, I'm really excited you're calling. <laughs> That's it. I hope you enjoyed your meal. Yeah, you're nice and kind, thanks. <laughs> Not at all. It was my pleasure. Oh. It's getting, getting late. I gotta go. <laughs> we best hurry along, then. <laughs> I like how they mm, at the same time. <laughs> They're really actually attractive. Yeah, because you made her change her appearance for you. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, which do I go with? Uh, would you be my one and only? Oh, no, I should ask about another date. That's a bit forward. How dare you? Such cruelty. I can hardly bear it. Oh, you got dumped. I should have... I meant to ask for another date. Um, I should have gone for the yellow. But I thought that would ask for another date otherwise. That worked out well. <laughs> you were apparently not my destiny. I'm sorry for whoever created destiny. You had a cool character. I'm sorry it didn't work out. I'm quite distressed. Any more fish in the sea? Put them in my veg and I got the lady parts that smell like fish. Okay, Destiny. I thought Destiny was adorable, though. I'm sorry it didn't work out. Well, everybody, you can't win them all. And that one we didn't. We have a great reputation, though. Maybe next time we can find her a new date. Or just kick her the fuck out and get somebody else. We got some coins. We got paid. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for hanging out.